now we're going to address the snake disarm, which is very prevalent in the Filipino martial arts systems. Every system has some version of it. Here's the basic way we practice. After a forehand strike, we block, we go over the stick, under the arm, get the wrist into a compromised position, and disarm. Some styles come around, they do it palm up, and then move back. That can work as well. We prefer the palm down version, and I'll show you why in a minute. So, so the snake is good. The weakness of it is it takes time to set up. So during the time that it can be set up, many counters are possible. All right, so Chris, let's see the snake. Good. All right, so the way Chris moved shows the first counter. So what happens? As he's executing the snake, it's rotating my body in this direction, which actually puts me right into the cross. So that's one easy counter. All right, second counter, snake again. All right, so what did I do there in slow motion? Freeze. All right, right now, what's between my uppercut and his chin? Answer, nothing. So as long as I, as soon as he wraps, Two counters. All right, now three counters. When he wraps, here. All right. So in slow motion, especially if he wraps palm up, then by putting the hand here, my stick now is now applying pressure to the nerve in the forearm right there. In addition to implementing a throw, it's very painful. All right. Again. Now. By jamming here, by pushing in to his chest, I take away the leverage he has. Right here, with his arm at this angle, he has the leverage to execute the snake disarm. If I push into here, he doesn't have the leverage anymore. Go ahead, snake. See, with the jam, he doesn't. But I'm a little bit stuck, so I follow counter here. All right, next counter. His fingers are up. I can lever there. Oh, which one am I forgetting? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, again, last one. All right. So, in order for this leverage to work, he has to get my wrist into that wrist lock position. So, as soon as I see him snaking, I rotate my wrist out. Now, with my wrist in this down position, now apply the snake leverage doesn't work there. But of course, I'm still a little bit stuck, so I finished that disarm here. All right, so we have two, two punches. One, two. All right, we have one twist out. We have here. And we have to the snake, which are possible because it's slow. All right, now how do you avoid that weakness of its slow? By hitting. All right, so now, instead of, so now during the time that I wrap and want to hit here, I block, while I wrap, I hit the body. While I disarm, I hit the head. All right, by adding those strikes, that helps neutralize the weakness of the snake. 